got a pass, but I'm knowing life is fast. Everybody's got their path. Need you to meet me. Hey guys, welcome back to the GT4 build. Uh, we finished the cooling in the last episode. That one wasn't super exciting, but you know, cooling has to be done. But today we have the big thing. So we're gonna be doing the APs and we're gonna do the MCS and then brake pads. But what everyone came to see is the MCS and the APs. So uh, if we start at the rear, can unsleeve these bad Larrys. These are my old ones, so they do have Velcro on them, but everyone loves MCS. Uh, again, this is a divorce setup, so we're using the ground control spring perch in there so that we can adjust ride height. Uh, I box springs, we're gonna run 900 in the rear. We did order helpers, but we've been going through the suspension motion on the other side, and we don't think the helpers are necessary, so we're gonna start without the helpers, set ride height, and then go in full droop and see if we wanna use the helpers or not. I know on the front, you basically have to use the helpers, but on the rear, I think this spring is long enough that we're not gonna need the helpers. And then, yeah, rear brake pads, not very exciting. Everyone's favorite thing, boom, the APs. Man, those I'm things like, are so shiny, there's a huge glare, okay. Yeah, you can't see anything. There we go, that's I feel awesome. like I'm Gordon Ramsay right now. So shiny. Unreal. I mean, these things are awesome. Yeah. So that and the rotors, uh, we got the brake lines. And then, yeah, same thing in the front. We have helper springs and then I-Box. We're going to be running 800s in the front, I believe. 800s or 700s? I think it was 700s. 700 in the front, 900 rear, yeah. Yeah, that sounds better. Um, the fronts are do have the quick disconnect. This will help us place these in the engine bay easier. Um, for the rear, we just take out the tub route it up and over and then it'll be in the tub so we can just fold open the floor, click, 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 fold it back down, everything will be super accessible. And then in the engine bay we'll do the same thing, we'll probably mount these to the strut bars so that way all of the adjustments. The quick connects are super nice, it is a pretty pricey upgrade. Uh, if you're feeling like balling, definitely do it, but... For good reason though. Yeah, yeah. I mean you don't want it's these worth to leak it. and there's a month, <laughs> it's like 250 psi basically, so... So yeah, this is today's dinner spread and, oh, I forgot we got Turner Toe Links. Um, we talked about like going full control, link, control arms, links, everything front and rear, um, but we decided to just get out on the track, do the toes so you can really dial in alignment. But the rest of the arms are, they're an upgrade, don't get me wrong, but like this whole car is gonna be drastically different from the last time we drove it that I said, let's wait. Next time we do it, we're gonna pull the subframe, do subframe bushings, diff bushings, and then we'll go in and do the control arms and the guide, guide arms. Um, but for now, we're just gonna do Turner, adjustable toe, so we can dial in toe. Camber's pretty good out of the box from these, so we'll be able to get to the spec we want, but toe is really nice to have perfectly dialed in, just for rear grip and tire wear. It's more important than camber um, when it comes to OEM adjustability. So, yeah, this is the dinner spread and we're gonna get started. Kyle's already been knocking out the other side, but yeah, we're gonna get started on this side then. All nice and shiny parts, ready to go. Dude, and even the carbon fiber table with the trash can true. underneath. Pretty sweet, <laughs> pretty cool. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we had to replace the O-ring because it just didn't fit. Want me to go grab one of the fat boys? Nah, screw this it. This thing's massive. It was like twice the size of that thing thickness. It was yeah, just it insane. literally, like we even put the spring on and tried to push it in and it just didn't work. So It got to the point where it was really sketchy for me. So yeah. like, all right, we got to try it. But luckily we had some on hand, so yeah. not a big deal. All right, throw that Larry in there. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Love taps on it. Nice. Helps itself stay in there. All right, beautiful. So this is nice because it has the adjuster at the bottom, so you can easily do ride height even when the spring's in it. All right, we'll try and get the e box Yeah, towards the, the e box So we did, uh, we did buy helpers, but we didn't actually end up needing them. We went through all the suspension travel. It just wasn't, wasn't needed. So we figured, hey, save the 50 bucks a corner, 60 bucks a corner, whatever it is. Easy money. Let me see that light for a second. Oh, uh-oh, gimbal, struggling. I'll let you do your thing for a second. Oh, this, oh my, wow, this thing is really just shit in its pants. I think I'm good. All right. I'll double check again. Discount double check? Yeah, AA Rogers approved? Nah, they get nah, the point. Definitely <laughs> all right, that's good. So, all right, now we just wanna toss in the coilover part. Throw it up in there, cow. Oh yeah, get your doohickey on there. Spit on it first. Push it up in there. Oop, oop, there you go. Oh, 
Shove that up in the hole. All right. Well, let's see what hole. Nice line routing, cow. We remove the trunk, all the stuff, and this is just a plastic tray. So what we're gonna do is we just notch a little bit out of the tray right here for the line, and then we can mount the reservoirs. God, the gimbal is terrible right now. We'll mount the reservoirs in the plastic tray right there. And so that way, you know, you're at the track, Oop, flip open the top, adjust, adjust. Close back down the trunk, throw some groceries on top. Maybe you wanted to take turn two into the parking lot a little harder. Oh, I, it was a tight squeeze, but it's in there. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, where'd the light? Oh, yeah. If you need some light. We're, we're, right we're, a, new fi we're a new film crew here. Yeah, we, a lot going on. Everybody's doing a little bit of something. Chris is, Chris is retiring. But yeah, it was a little bit of a tight squeeze, so we had to take a little TV timeout to really... I mean, it looks really out. nice, though. I mean... But, yeah. Boolin. These aren't the right brakes. So fancy. Yeah. Sweet! Are you guys putting bump stops on, or are you guys... Is that what this is? Yeah. That's just from the old one. You guys running, are you guys running a boot? Hey, Chris, are you going to put a boot on this? It or doesn't it? fit over. It doesn't fit, and they don't have any. And I looked in all the pictures, and they don't have any. There's like a nice seal in there. All right, well. It is like a really beefy strut. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, no, it is sweet. I just like quadruple, triple, double check. Discount double check. I mean, if it run good, it run good. Pass what dice on. 150% about. Yeah. Well, it goes from like M8 to M12 on the top. Swing that. Swing that bolt. Wee! -hoo. That's torque spec. Stonks. All right. Yeah, I, I took old discount check. Looked at some old used right. pictures. Nothing. This is totally sweet. You can just adjust the ride height with the little nut right there. Boom. Yeah, and then so the cable goes through the body. Now I guess we could show. So it, this is where it sits, right on the exhaust. It doesn't melt, right? It warms it up. It warms up the canister for yeah, better uh, for better performance. Okay, and sweet. This is how you do it. So, not really, but well, we'll put the car down in a sec. I can't see. If you see something in there, it's 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 because my guessing's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canister, boom, adjusters. All right. But yeah. It. So here we'll show this. So we're gonna basically notch two little holes, two little C's in here. And that's where the cables will go through, and then we'll mount the canisters here. And that way he can just flip open the panel, adjuster, 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 and put down the panel. And yes. then he throws his Vincent Joe's on top, and he can really get out of the Vincent Joe's parking lot with oh. like, the better two compression notches. Yeah, it's, it, it, it makes it make sure that the, the groceries don't get too jostled. Do viewers even know what Vincent Joe's is? Because I wouldn't know what it is. Grocery. No, that's a fancy grocery store that yeah. we all love. But, uh, they can deduce. No, I mean, it's super easy, right? So I, I assume he runs all this on the track. I don't really know. But he's running really street bond stuff, so right? Why you dedicated if he pulled all this out to go on the track? Dude, that's like eight pounds, though. I know. You can, like, skip breakfast and take a poop, or you can work for three hours and, and run take off everything. Take gas. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, now Trick. what's Kyle doing? Toe link? You throwing that in right yeah. now, or you just... Yeah. What kind of sweet product are we using here? Turner. Boom. It's pretty straightforward. Adjust it yeah. to the other length of the old one. People. Twisty, twisty. All right. Twisty. Cut. Oh, Mike's fucking going all along. Oh, there he is. It's all downhill from here. Hey. All right, so everything in the rear is done. We got coilovers, trailing arms, tow arms, not trailing arms, and brake pads. So now we're going to jump to the front. Kyle's starting to work there. Look at him, he's Working doing hard. good. But what we're gonna do first is go assemble the front coilovers. What we have here is the MCS fronts. So a big thing when you order MCS is normally it's, it's just the strut. It doesn't come with springs, camera plates, or anything like that. That's all for you to do. There are a few companies out there that kind of make kits and send you some stuff, but this gives you good flexibility to use whatever products you want. 
Um, we're a big fan of ground control camera plates. They have a bunch of adjustability. They're built really well. Uh, Vorschlag also makes really great camera plates. Springs, you can use whatever springs you like. Most springs are the same, but Swift, Eibach all make great springs. We're using a helper spring, the adapter, and the main spring. So this adapter goes in there, and then this will sit like that. Nothing too fancy. And we have, you know, the MCS collars so that you can set your ride heights. So this is a pretty quick and easy process. So let's just throw it together. All right guys, that is pretty easy. I think almost anyone is capable of doing that. I think the hardest part is probably just cutting open the boxes to get the springs out. Rough mod, so. All right, now that we have the coilovers assembled, it's time to put them in the knuckles. All right, so the coilover is back and installed. These are pretty easy. And what we did was we tossed on the AP brake adapter. Super sweet, plug and play, pretty simple. And then what we also did was we cut a two inch hole in the dust shield and then we just welded on a uh, steel coupler since these are steel. Um, if you have aluminum you can use aluminum as well and this will allow us to run a two inch brake duct and what you do is you keep it as close to the knuckle as possible because you want the air to be in the center of the rotor. You don't want to blow on the back of the actual ring because that's just going to cause disproportionate heat from the inside to the outside. You want it to go in the middle and then all the veins grab that air and then shoot it out. So that's how you actually keep your rotors cool. So, all right, I think it's time Kyle can slap on the brake rotors and the calipers and she'll almost be back on the ground. One step closer. All right, so now that you got the calipers and rotors on, uh, one thing with APs, it's in the directions, you need to wash the rotor with soap and water and a sponge to get uh, like anti-rust protection coating that they ship with off. So unfortunately these come super pretty, but then right immediately when you wash them, you get your very typical just rust lines. So it is what it is, but man, look at these things. Steez in, these look great. And then if I pull as hard as I can, you can see that the brake duct hole is in the center of the back of the rotor. All right, so we're jumping back to the table because um, I forgot, these came disconnected from MCS when they had them rebuilt. And you'll notice if you've ever done quick disconnects before, these are a huge pain in the butt. Um, so you actually have to bleed the pressure out of the canister, then make the quick connect, and then repressurize the canister. So it's uh, <clears throat> a nitrogen filled canister and uh, MCS recommends you start at 175 PSI. Um, once you're, if you needed more adjustability in your coilover, you could go up a little bit or down a little bit, but for this application, the 175 is going to be perfect. So we just take a little Phillips and we'll push that in and we'll probably hear the nitrogen squirt out. It's not actually there. It's here. I don't know why I was pointing at that, but yeah, let's watch this. And like always, be careful. Smells like shit. And put your caps back on. Now time to go in the car. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Um, so we just purged the canisters and we got those back in the car. Let me tell you, those quick disconnects are not easy. It took both Mike and I, even after purging them, to push them together. So I don't really know how they expect you to do this at the track, but just never undo your canisters, please. It was not good. So we got a nitrogen tank. We'll fill it back up to nitrogen. They recommended 170 PSI. I probably said this in the other clip, but it's a new day, so my brain is just rattled. And more mods. So we had some issues fitting the wheels, just clearances. Um, he didn't have wheel studs, so we were gonna put spacers on. Then I didn't have long enough bolts. 
So it's like, well, we're in there, mm, we might as well upgrade. So now we are going to M4 hubs, front and rear. So this will allow them to use the 14 mil studs that the M4 uses and M3 from the F80. Um, these are just more robust. We recommend them for track cars. They have longer life. You should replace your studs probably every season anyway. Um, but if you ever get to a slick or really high horsepower, stuff like that, the M14 stud is just more durable. Um, you don't have to replace them as often. They're just better. So new wheel bearings front and rear. So let's take a look at those. All right guys, so we did a quick test fit and yeah, these are basically a plug and play. So I'll show you the kit that we sell and I'll kind of go over everything for you guys. So let's go back to the workbench and yeah, here they are. So this is the front and this is the rear. So how this works is the front is a very easy. It's four bolts, bolt it, unbolt yours, bolt that one right back on, buy M14 studs, booty doop, booty doop, put them in and you're all done. The rears are the same as if you were to do any wheel bearing basically. So just this, the actual hub part that presses in, you gotta just press that out of your E92 knuckle and then new wheel bearing and you press this one in. So this is just for the M4. It has this cool flower pattern. These are lightweight. I think this one's, I'll probably put it in the description, but I think this one's like uh, 0.4 pounds and this one's like 0.7. So drastic, no improvement, yes. Um, with these kits, we sell studs. I had to order some for him, I ran out. Uh, you get new axle nuts, you get new wheel bearings, you get new circ clips, everything that comes with it. So this is basically plug and play. It's not a very popular mod, but it's one of those things, if you do track your car and you do need wheel bearings, right, you might as well just buy these ones. They're basically the same price as new wheel bearings for an E92 M3 anyway. And you get the added benefits of having the M14 studs, more robustness, and lighter weight. So uh, I run these. Whoo, nice spin move, Chris. Um, I run these on my car, have for years, they're sweet. And so now we're going to throw them on TJ's. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, let's see if I can grab this light, sit my fat ass on the floor. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, there it is, yep. So maybe the camera's focusing. Maybe not, maybe I'm just hitting everything, but if you can see this, the tire's touching the coilover. All right, now that this is bolted on, we're just gonna throw back up the APs and put in a few of my old studs and see how it fits. All right, and just like that, it's all put back together. And now the fun part, and this is where I hand it off to Kyle to tackle the rears. All right, so we finished the rear and it just was not super exciting. So I just had Kyle bust through it instead of trying to film it. And yeah, I just hammered down doing ride heights. So everything looks really good now. And we are super happy with where the suspension's at in this. Um, for setting ride height, I mean the eye box in the back make it super easy. You can just fit a wrench between the spring. It's just not an enjoyable thing to watch. It's me taking off the tire, adjusting, putting it back on the ground, measuring, putting it back up, and doing it over and over and over again. So I figured you guys don't really care. You're probably gonna skip that part of the video anyway. And the front's not as bad. You just kind of push up the helper spring and then thread down the collars on the strut. All right guys, so stay tuned for the next video when we put in the cage seats, rear seat delete, and do all the interior mods. For now, suspension is done and we're super happy with how it came out. So we appreciate you guys tuning into this one. It was kind of long, but I think there was a bunch of good shit in here to watch. So we appreciate it. And like and subscribe and stay tuned so that you'll see when the interior video drops. Until next time.
so high, I'm hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through 